This is a video for my fellow techs out there on this Bogner Shiva, the problem with replacing the 12 volt power supply, which can fail in these models, causing really awful whines in the audio. And the other symptom of that is that the LEDs take a minute or two to stabilize on the front panel. For many years now, the Bogner Shiva has had a third party 12 volt DC supply like this. The original was a CUI 65 watt. This is a CUI 70 watt replacement that I tried to make work because uh, CUI no longer makes a 65 watt. The 65 watt version did not whine. This 70 watt version whines and it's kind of awful. But according to all the data sheets, this should have worked not only fine, it should have worked better. But I could not find any information and Bogner did not have any information for a long time on a good direct replacement. And so this amp kind of languished. The original Shivas did not have an external 12 volt supply. It was just a tap on the power transformer using a larger power transformer. And the current production Shivas have gone back to doing a, a separate tap on the power transformer rather than this uh, third party. But after calling Bogner several times, I got a call one afternoon from Reinhold himself, Reinhold Bogner. And uh, he said that in his testing, this is what they're using for replacements. This is a Meanwell supply. It is almost the same dimensions as the old CUI, but it does not whine and it does the job very well. Now, a couple of things. The, this amp had had its headers removed from the wires a long time ago. So I don't know whether the stock headers fit on these clips. This is the input. This is the, you know, this is AC in and DC out. In this case, I had to remove these headers and solder the wires directly to that. So one of the reasons most owners don't need to do this is you would mess things up removing those headers. But um, for a tech, that's fairly easily done. The other issue is that these holes are in slightly different places than the original holes. These two will fit, at which point this, these two are a little bit too far to the right and ever so slightly, ever so slightly uh, too wide All in this dim dimension, all of them are. So I took a needle file and enlarge this hole and this hole on here, allowing me to fit it, which maintained the ground here and here. Those are the two crucial connection points. And at that point, the amp works just fine. No more issue with LEDs, taking a while to stabilize, and more importantly, no more wine. So if you're a tech and you've got a client with a Bogner Shiva where that board needs to be replaced, this Meanwell part number at Mauser is in the description. It's about $25 as of the recording of this video. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.